What we are saying is the following to Kenyans, and please, media, help us. We are having a lot of Kenyans that are leaving our shows under false information. They are cheated, and sometimes they even become accomplices to crimes. They actually go bribe somebody to get them passports, you know. They know they are going, they are having one-way visa. They don't tell anybody, you know. And they find themselves in very difficult circumstances. You arrive somewhere, your passport is confiscated, nobody knows you are in that country, you know. And sometimes you manage to send an SMS to say, help me, they are going to kill me. We don't even know which location you are in. It is very important that Kenyans understand that legal jurisdictions are not similar to ours. That in fact sometimes things we take for granted, like freedom of speech and association, is sometimes not available in certain jurisdictions. It is so, so important that Kenyans understand that. In the case of the last ones we brought from Ethiopia, they had even been told to sign a contract. They were going, one of them was going to fit uh, telecommunication gadgets. Now this is absolutely illegal in Ethiopia. But in Kenya, you can buy your satellite and carry it on the street, isn't it? So, and because you don't have that information, you get caught up in a very, very difficult situation. So it is very important for the media to please help us to pass this information to the public. It is absolutely essential to do some due diligence. And that is why we have the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We can help all Kenyans to do their due diligence on any offers that they are making, that, that, that are being promised to them. That is what we do. We also encourage everybody, whichever country you go to, please find where the Kenyan mission is so that somebody knows where you are because we cannot protect you if we do not know where you are. So it's a fast, it's really a fast rule if you are going to be helpful to Kenyans. And the media can play a huge role in helping us to pass this information, to encourage Kenyans to look for better opportunities outside, but to urge them to use the structures we have for due diligence in order that we can protect our people out there.